The toll warehouse workers are saying cost of living pressures are forcing them to strike indefinitely. They're demanding pay rises of up to 8%, which could threaten the supply chain of major consumer brands leading up to Christmas. About 1,000 workers have already rejected pay rise offers between 2 and two and a quarter and two and a half percent and have set up picket lines at seven warehouses in New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. Major brands are expected to be impacted, including Kmart, Nike and Optus. For more, joining us live is Fleur Brown, the Chief Industry Affairs Officer at the Australian Retails Association. So I appreciate your time. Could these strikes ruin Christmas? How worried are retailers that they won't be able to get their goods out in time? I mean, this strike is just the latest blow, isn't it, coming off delays in supply chains? Yes, that's right, Ash. Uh, look, you can add it to the list of challenges that retailers have had to navigate uh, through the pandemic and particularly as we lead up to Christmas, it is a really intense trading period. It's when a lot of discretionary retailers make up to two thirds of their profits. And there are a lot of pressures at this time. You know, if you remove a pandemic and some of the forces that go with it, it's always an intense time. Um, however, uh, retailers have certainly been anticipating this. They've been battling through a lot of different uh, issues through the last 18 months and they have anticipated the, the absolute rush and intensity of Christmas and so they've they've been looking at um, how to mitigate against uh, delays and supply chain challenges and of course staff shortages. So how late is too late to do some online shopping? What's the best advice for shoppers? <laughs> I mean, I'm Start sure now. Get organised sooner rather than later. Yeah, absolutely. Look, start now. I mean, online sales have been going through the roof, which is great because it does relieve some of the pressure in some areas and, of course, adds to some of the warehouse pressures as well. So it absolutely is the year to get your Christmas shopping done early uh, to avoid disappointment. Um, as I mentioned, there, there have been these supply chain challenges throughout the pandemic. Retailers have been amazing at, you know, navigating through that and, and trying not to disappoint the customers. And I, I think on the whole, you know, they're pretty well prepared, but you want to start early. More broadly, what is the retail outlook for this Christmas season now that the lockdowns are lifted? Are we seeing people getting out and keen, being keen to spend? Yeah, absolutely. It's really um, quite an optimistic period. Uh, the vibe is great out there. There is a lot of um, activity going on in the, in the stores, which is really good news uh, for those retailers that have suffered through the lockdowns, that they will get that bounce. We're predicting it will be line ball with last year's spending um, at about $59 billion. Now, the good news in that is that that's actually up more than 11% on pre-pandemic Christmas spending levels. So a really healthy result and will certainly help to replenish the cash reserves for those retailers who were badly affected during the lockdowns. 59 billion, goodness, that, that's a pretty big number. That's a lot of business uh, shopping to be done. Um, when you look at people getting back into the shops, how has the pandemic changed our shopping habits? Uh, I assume there's been a huge shift towards online shopping over that period. Do you ever see us going back from that? Look, um, global trends tell us that it will drop back and settle a little bit. So at its height, it went to 15% of spending. So if you think about that, you know, you're still looking at 85% of spending happening in physical stores. People love getting out in the stores. It's an experience as much as anything else. Uh, that will settle back, um, but there's definitely a permanent elevation of online shopping. And of course, customers have learned that, you know, it's any channel to get what they want. So they sometimes will favour click and collect and those sorts of innovations that have happened through the pandemic as a means of avoiding maybe that rush in store. Um, you know, there's, there's many reasons why people might choose different ways to pick up their goods and services. Some of that will certainly stick. Blair Brown, appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Sam.